Brad Rowe.
The Lord be with you. <laughs> Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for this day you have given us. And as we come together to celebrate this third Sunday of Advent in preparation to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask that you bless the Margaret's choirs as we present this cantata. And bless all those who are here to be with us. May the music we make today, O Lord, be pleasing to you in all that we do. May be to your honor and glory. We're so grateful for this day you have given us and for our time together this evening. We ask it in the mighty and precious name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Just want to acknowledge the uh, mayor-elect, Yvette Page, who's with us this evening. Mayor, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> Robert. Good evening. My name is Robert F. Stockton III. I am the director of music here at St. Margaret's Church, and I'm here to welcome you to our annual Christmas cantata. We all know that Jesus is the reason for the season. Our cantata, Everlasting Light, the promise of Christmas. Please relax, enjoy the wonderful music the choir has prepared for you. Um, before we begin, just a couple announcements. Uh, please join us in the fellowship hall after the uh, cantata for punch and cookies. Um, I want to acknowledge our guest conductor today is Mr. Frank Carr from St. Simon in uh, Cincinnati. Please give him a welcome. And once again, we thank you for attending and have a blessed and Merry Christmas.
From eternity past, God writes his history across the heavens, and now in our deepening darkness, a light shines. Here is a visible image of the invisible God. In him is life, and his life is the light of men. The one who existed before all things comes to us as a helpless child. O word eternal, in you there is no darkness at all. Your light is shining from a stable in Bethlehem. The kingdom of God has come to us at last. People who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them the light has shined. A star will come out of Jacob, and a scepter will rise out of Israel. But you, Bethlehem, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, Yet out from you will come forth one who will be the ruler of Israel. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Chosen, 
chosen to bear the Son of the Most High, the light of the Holy One inside me. I rejoice for God has seen me. I have been empty, but now I am filled. I have been poor, but now I am rich. The proud cannot boast for this gift has come to the humblest of God's servants. The unchanging one has changed me. Oh, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I have been carried by you all my days. How can it be that I carry you? Now I am truly alive, alive with longing for you, my Lord, my King, my Savior, my child. My soul proclaims the Lord my God. My spirit always sings his praise. He looks on me, he lifts me up, and gladness fills my day.
because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. O oh, bless are you, Bethlehem, city of David. Though you are small among thousands, you alone have provided shelter for the King of Kings. There were shepherds out in the fields that night. They were keeping watch over their flocks. Suddenly the sky split wide with a light and a thousand stars seemed to fall into the darkness. Unto you is born this day a savior. Stars announcing a savior? No, not stars. Angels blazing the light into the sky. Who is Christ the Lord? The Christ, how can this be? This will be a sign for you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. 
A sign from God? Yes, from God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to the people with whom he is pleased. And there between the darkness and the light, the found him, the baby, the Christ, the Savior. God is born on earth tonight. Hush, do not awaken him. His journey has been so long. See his mother, how she gazes at him. Uncommon child, so very common. A spark of light surrounds them, the flame pushing against the dark. So, this is how the light comes into the world. One child alone brings it. All of God's promises are kept in him, this child of light.
shall we name him this holy one he is Jesus God's own son In love and obedience, Mary and Joseph offer back to God the promise he gave, this child holy unto the Lord. And so it begins, those who long for the Savior will find him. Like old Simeon, they will cry, my eyes have seen your salvation. He is a light to reveal God to the nations. God does not forget our prayers.
Rejoice, rejoice greatly. Though we were once wrapped in darkness, the bright light of God's glory has risen on us. Shout and be glad. Welcome the Savior born for us this day. Worship him with loud praises and singing. Joyfully rise with all the nations and adore him, the everlasting light.
He is the light, the everlasting light. Amen. We're so grateful to God for this opportunity to share with you and glad that you could be with us today. Thank God that the First Lady Stacy Thompson was with me up there as we were the night readers. Amen. Thank to our musical director. To Mr. Robble, Robert Stockton III and Mr. Frank Carr. Yeah. To the magnificent Sir Margaret's Chancel Choir. Yeah. In October, we celebrated 131 years as a parish. Can you imagine? Yeah. 131 years, and we are still going. We are so grateful that you could join us today to celebrate as we begin the celebration in preparation to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the light indeed, the everlasting light. I pray for you and your family as you gather this holiday season. Pray for safety and that you enjoy one another. Please do not take anything for granted. What we have is today, and let us give thanks to God for every day we wake up is a blessing. Amen. So let us give thanks to God. Amen. Stay close to your family. Enjoy them. No matter what happened, all the ups and downs, just give thanks to God, no matter what you go through. The Lord be with you. <laughs> let us pray. O oh God of unchangeable powers, we say thank you for this day that you've given us in our time together today. For the presentation of music, O oh Lord, we pray that it was pleasing to you. We thank you for every family here present today and ask for your choice blessings upon them. We know that as we leave this place, you will never leave our presence. And for that, we say thank you. Now may God, the creator, redeemer, and sustainer, Rest and abide with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Yes. Um, I'd just like to ask the senior warden, please come up there as a, a gift. Uh, we've talked about our church be, uh, in 131 years, but we also are, like to uh, acknowledge <laughs> <laughs> that you, your years as, as a priest and uh, the wardens, uh, or excuse me, the vestry, wanted to give you a small uh, donation and, and I guess some other. And uh, so, senior warden, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 